In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to insert a video into your Articulate Engage interaction. Then we'll look at the different properties and what you can do to edit the video. So let's go ahead and insert a video. So you should be inside your interaction. And we're going to go over to the media panel. I'm just going to insert a video. Now you have three ways to insert video. One is you can insert video from file. And that'll just pull one of the videos that you have, which is what we'll do. You can also insert a video from a website. Uh, some websites will give you an embed code and you can copy and paste that. Now if you do that, uh, you need to know that when you preview or publish and it's not on the media server, then the video won't play. So you'll need to upload that uh, to make sure that it's able to pull in the video and play it. And then the other option is to record a webcam video. We're going to go ahead and insert a video from file. And where's our placeholder video? We'll go ahead and add that. And now you can see I have my video. Now what we notice is we've got some properties here. So we've got our position. So we can do top, bottom, left, right. We also have our size. By default it's going to insert it a certain size. Now sometimes you may want to customize that. Like a lot of times I like to make the video as big as possible. Now each interaction is a little bit different. So the size is always going to be a little different on what you can do. So I don't always know what the appropriate size is. So I'll just type in a big number here. And then it'll tell me the maximum for this particular interaction. I can insert is 399. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. So now we can see we have a custom size. Now the other thing is when you insert a video, you have the option of having it auto start, which it does by default. Or you can include a play bar and you can disable the auto start. And then that allows the user to start the video and watch it when they want to. Or let's move this here from right to left. All right, so the video's on the left. It's a little bit larger and um, we're going to have a play bar. So let's go ahead and preview this interaction. And now you can see I've got my interaction here with the video. There's a play bar. It didn't auto start. So I'm going to hit play and now it's going to auto start. What I like about the play bar is it also allows the user to jump to specific parts of the video. So sometimes if you have really long videos, uh, it's it's a hassle to have to watch the entire video to just see something that you missed. So go ahead and close the preview. The other thing I'll show you is that you also have a video editor up here. So we're going to edit the video. Now the video editor that comes with Engage, it's a really functional and practical video editor, but it's not a professional editor in the sense that you're going to make Hollywood movies. So you get some basic things that you can do with it. So one of the things you can do is you can trim the video. So if you click on Trim, it's going to give you a start and exit point and then you can change that. So you can go to a particular point in the video. So you'd have a start point in the video and an end point that might be a little bit different. And then the other thing that you can do is you can crop the video. So if you click on the crop feature, by default it's going to keep the same aspect ratio. But you're not limited to that. You could actually um, crop this in. Let's crop it in close to his hand. And we're actually going to make it a little bit uh, more like this. So you can see the aspect ratio is completely different. And you can change the brightness and contrast. You can increase or decrease the volume. And you can also insert a logo. So let's go ahead and insert a logo. And I'm just going to take an image here that I have in our practice file. And you can see I've got my logo and I'm going to scale it down and put it right here in the corner. You can also change the transparency if you want to. So let's go ahead and hit Save and Close. And what should happen is the video is going to be processed. You can see the aspect ratio is different. So if we preview this, we're going to see the video is all scrunched up. We've got our logo on here and we still have the play bar. So you can see the cropping worked. I'm going to go ahead and close the preview. Let's come back to the video editor. Let's say you show that to your client. Your client was not happy and they want everything to go back to the way it was. That's easy enough to do. Just hit Reset Video. And now you're back to your starting point and then hit Save and Close. So working with video is really super easy. It's just a matter of inserting it and then figuring out what properties you want. Now it's just a matter of you building interactions. And again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to jump into the community and ask. We'll always be there to help you out. 